ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, get ready to find out about air to water drinking systems. Ladies and gentlemen, I have purchased an air to water drinking system. They're all over the place. Now, I don't know. This ain't an air to water drinking system. This is a bodiless water cooler <laughs> dispensing system. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, this non-filtered water, blah, 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 blah. Nope, that ain't it either. I want the hydrogen water. Nope, don't care about none of that. I said atmospheric water generators. Do they really work? Ladies and gentlemen, I have one. My atmospheric water generator, they won't work everywhere. Like uh, in climates that are that get less than 10% humidity, like Arizona. Okay, not every place in Arizona will it work. But it will work in places like mine that we get 45% humidity year-round on average. I have mine. I turned it on the other day after connecting everything. It was simple to connect. And when I connected it, because I ain't messing with your taters, I'm not mashing your taters or any other type of taters with your taters, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, when I connected it, 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 in two hours, I had one gallon of water. Two hours had one gallon of water. I'm not joking, y'all. I'm letting you know the system works. Now, how does it work? Well, here's the thing. It doesn't filter the water. It doesn't filter the water. Well, you put a water filter in there, but it doesn't filter the water. You put your, 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 your what's that thing called? Uh, charcoal water filter. So you can get your minerals and stuff and vitamins and stuff added back to it. But ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't filter the water. It filters the air. The air. That's why it's called an atmospheric water generator. Filters the air. And the condensation that's created in the filtering process is where the water comes from. Really? Really? That's why you need humidity because you need that generating of that atmospheric water that's created as a result. And when you has that, now I want y'all to pay attention. Oh, no wonder. I was wondering why I wasn't feeling too well this morning. I got my heat vest still on. Heat vest still on, but it's it, it, it don't need to be on right now. Man, I got my, man, this thing has got me cooked. Sorry, I have a battery for my heat vest. This battery lasts for 12 hours straight. So I can literally wear it all day and all night. It actually, it lasts for more than 12 hours. I, I apologize. The other battery lasts for eight hours. And it's half the size of this one. This battery lasts for the whole day. I said 12 hours. I meant 24 hours. So and the heat vest is the greatest investment I had ever invested in. Those of you who live on the East Coast and y'all always got that cold weather and you're always going outside and you're freezing while you're shoveling that crap. Well, get yourself a heat vest. Okay, do it during the summer though. Get your heat vest during the summer when they cheat. That way when winter comes, all you got to do is plug that sucker in. Make sure it works because you're going to wait till the summer. You're going to wait till your warranty is over. So make sure it works. But yes, the greatest investment I had ever made was a heat vest told you I can't regulate my body temperature like the rest of you. So I need a heat vest. And so with my heat vest, everything is okay. Okay? All right. Getting back to this uh, water acclimation system. Ladies and gentlemen, I am a proud owner of such a system at this point. And I can tell you that mine works. And when I say it works, I mean it works. It works very well. So, that you all can understand, I am letting you know that for especially those people who are living in the city, because it has a filter for the air, okay? Because it filters the air, you don't have to worry about all of those particles and that uh, nuclear radiation fallout stuff being in your water. You know what I'm saying? Now, is water from air drinkable? Let's find out. I'm, I'm interested to see what they're going to say. The quality and taste of the water that is processed using air-to-water technology is the highest standards. Air-to-water production brings a new source of drinking water to our world. Uh, no, it doesn't. It does not obviate dependence on municipal water. What it will do 
it's for those who can afford it. Ladies and gentlemen, this was me taking a chance. This thing is not cheap. Okay, let me say it again. This thing is not cheap. Just so you guys know. So when you're looking for it, do your research. Because not all air to water systems are the same. Nobody wants to subscribe. What what y'all doing? I don't I'm not gonna log in. Get your junk out my face. Get your junk out my face. Get your junk. Uh we don't care. Okay. Oh, it doesn't like my ad blocker. Uh-uh. You don't like my ad blocker, then you don't like me. I'm using a, a web browser. This web browser is the iTop private browser. And because it automatically has the air blocking technology, I mean the ad blocking technology, they, oh, look at that. The 10 best atmospheric water generators for 2023. This is an advertisement, advertisement. This is an advertisement, advertisement. So be careful. Always look for that advertisement because they cannot falsely advertise. So that means that someone was paid to promote this. But at least you'll get the names, ladies and gentlemen, of the water to uh, air to water atmospheric generators. Oh, that's right. See, what happens is you see this right here. Google does the ad thing. And because I have the ad blocker, it don't like Google's ads. Google ads is a piece of, I mean, uh, stuff. And so it won't let me do it because Google knows I have ad blockers. Y'all don't have ad blockers, so but I have ad blockers. That's why you don't see no YouTube ads on any of my videos. Well, sometimes it happened because we didn't have the connection, right? Okay, so we won't be able to go there. It don't like they don't like the ad blockers. Google is all about advertisement. Advertisement. So what I suggest is that you guys, when you get the chance, you go and you take a look and you do your research and you find exactly what you need. It ain't letting me do what I need to do. Okay, we're gonna reload reload recall it ain't letting me go back so that's that's what it don't like it don't like my blocking its advertisement so uh watch this we'll do this atmospheric air to water generator comma comparison Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, atmospheric air to water generators. These are just generators. Nobody asked for. And so now I got to get rid of the generator part. And it put two as in T-O-O. -O. So let's see if we can comma that. And let's see if we can get rid of that T-O-O -O and put a two there. And let's see what we get, y'all. Oh, it says this atmospheric. We got to get rid of that dis. Okay, now we're going to do it again because we're getting our atmospheric generators. Okay, you see it right here? Top three. Then there's atmospheric water generators, solar panels that produces it. They actually make... Nobody asks you about no atmospheric river, you ignorant mother... <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, an atmospheric river generates water. <laughs> okay. Storm system. Anyway, stupid idiot. Uh, that's the AI system being stupid. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and here you'll get a list. Here you'll get a list. Here you get a list. Here you get a list. And they'll give you names. But I want you to understand, it ain't cheap. You're going to find that not a lot of people going to demonstrate how this stuff works. Why? Because most of the companies, this ain't their first time. Okay? Now, if you're on solar, if you're off grid did 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 if you're off grid did 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 these this video right here has the link for these and you can do your research from there and see the best and the worst my unit cost 
the 10 gallons that it produces per day and because it literally produced two gallons of water in less than two hours then yes i can say and it has a filtration system that it does that have i tasted the, 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 the water no because i still get water from arrowhead that i'm getting ready to cut that junk off okay but I'm doing this video so that you guys can know that it is a very bo 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 bo. Okay. Now this one right here, this right here, he gonna walk you through it. I done seen his video, how to turn air into drinking water. He gonna explain. Now look, 15 minutes or 15 seconds, 15 seconds. Let let's play him. Oh no, that's it's not. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not 15 seconds. He does the video showing you that he received his and he's going through the motions and he shows atmospheric water generator. Now this is Airclo Blue. This is an expensive one. Airclo Blue is an expensive one. I'll tell it to you like it is. It's an expensive one. Okay. Airclo Blue. That's not it right there though. Where, where's the Airclo Blue, homie? Where, 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 you, where are you advertising it at? Uh, nobody talks, talks, cares about your gadgets. What you doing? You advertising. Do you need to plug this machine in? Of course you need to plug it in. It uses the one that I have uses 600 Watts, 600 Watts, 600 Watts. But that's why I have the solar system to take care of that 600 Watts. Okay. But just be prepared for that. So all of you who are on solar, turn it off at night. I'm sorry. Ooh. And get yourself some uh, empty water bottles. Look, I am not a fan of plastic anymore. Because I've learned what plastics do. The microplastics and all of that stuff. Lord have mercy. So, but you got to store the water someplace. You know what I'm saying? And most of the stuff we get today is made out of plastics. Now, you're going to see tons of videos. How to transform air into pure water. Why? Because that's what they're doing. It's not the water they're turning into water. Desert, okay, so they're not, not particularly, particularly. Oh, I'm sorry. You guys see how the, the videos, the advertising wants to show up and it just didn't show up? That's what I'm talking about. That's why you get uh, browsers like this one. This is called iTop VPN. It's free! Do I advertise it? No. But hold on. Watch this. Welcoming, welcoming environments, environments. And yet, and at, yet, least at least 100 million, million people live in desert, live in desert regions, regions around the world, around the world according, to the, according to the UN. They have to make, they do, have to with make do with less than 25, 25 centimeters, centimeters of rainfall, centimeters of rainfall each, year. each year. And for and many, for even, many that even that minuscule water supply, supply is under threat, is under threat. As, climate as climate change is making dry is making areas dry even dry. Even dry. <coughs> so, scientists at UC Berkeley experiment with materials that hold drinking water out of thin air. Wait, wait, hold on. Ladies and gentlemen. This gentleman talks about BC Berkeley. Berkeley ain't the ones who did this. The guy who did this, woo wee, I think he passed on by now, but I don't know if he did it. Now, the, the guy in Texas, that ain't the one who invented it, okay? The military's been using this technology ever since the original guy invented it. So just understand, ain't no UC Berkeley. They might be doing research on it, but they ain't the ones who invented it. Come on now. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Air. The Air. compound they've devised, they've devised is one of a family, family of materials called metal organic, organic frameworks, or MOFs. MOFs are, are, well, it's pretty much well, right, pretty in, much the right in the name. Frameworks, frameworks are metal, metal atoms connected, atoms connected to, each to each other with organic, organic, organic linkers. linkers. This structure this makes, structure them, makes them like a sponge, like a sponge giving, them giving them incredible surface, incredible surface area. area. A single a gram, single gram of surface areas. Do you know that if you caught a good swift of wind, you would fly off of this planet? Look at that. Man, he's... uh. We're coming in for a landing. Lord of Flaps. Of a mall. Of a mall. The service area, area of a football field. And depending, and on, the and depending on the metal and organic, organic molecules, molecules they're made of, they're made they, of can they can be tailored to capture, to capture different, different things. things. Hey, he said it. He said the service area of a football field. Come on now. In their pores. In their pores. Moths, Moths have potential, potential uses capturing, uses capturing CO2, CO2 and turning it into, and turning it into fuel methanol, methanol or neutralizing, or neutralizing nerve, nerve agents, agents like gas. sarin gas. The function the, the, function function the scientists, scientists to their moth board, board, board was extracting, was extracting water, water vapor, vapor that's present in the air. The, the first one they made in 2014 called Moth 801 was zirconium based. When tested in a water harvester, it worked entirely passively, absorbing and condensing water overnight and giving it up again when the sun warmed it up. So the concept worked and used a lot less 
energy than the other way of extracting water from low humidity air, which involves cooling the air below freezing. But zirconium is expensive, so the scientists are developing MOF 303 based on the much cheaper element aluminum. Not only is the new MOF cheaper, it also performs much better. It can hold 30% more water and fill up but aluminum is, a, aluminum is a heavy metal. It's not always good for you. Heavy metal is not always good for you. Heavy metal is not always good for you. And empty and in empty just 20, in 20 minutes, minutes in, the right in the right conditions. And because the moth was designed to leave no traces, leave no traces of organic or inorganic, or inorganic material, material in the water, in the water it's, completely it's completely pure and drinkable, and drinkable right, away. right away. Using the same Using passive, passive technique in a harvester, in a harvester left overnight in the Arizona, Arizona desert, desert, one kilogram, one kilogram, of, kilogram of moth 303 harvested 0 0.2 liters of water. Now, I know what you're thinking. That doesn't sound like a lot of water. And you're right. But the good news is the aluminum-based moth's ability to fill and empty in minutes can be can be exploited. The scientists, the scientists changed, up, changed their up their design. Instead of passively, passively relying on a day night cycle, cycle, their latest their harvester latest relies on solar-powered solar -powered fans, fans and heaters, and heaters to run dozens, to dozens of cycles, cycles a day. A day. Ideally, Ideally, it can make more can than 1.3 liters, liters of water per, per kilogram of moth each day. Each day. And, the and the researchers hope to get that number as high as 8 or 8 liters per kilogram. The lead researcher behind this has started a private company called Water Harvest. Of course they are going to start a private company. They need to make their money. So, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, this junk ain't cheap, but it ain't too expensive when you look at the cost. See, I spend, um, to have water shipped to me every two months, $50. So, 50 times six, $300 a year. That's a quarter of the, that's half the price of this unit. This unit, the one I got is, it costs nine, no, that's uh, three quarters. So, uh, no, uh, one third, sorry, one third. One third, it's not a math test, it's early in the morning. Um, one third the cost. Okay, but I do know for a fact that I'm gonna get my three years worth in no time because I have in my possession 19 five gallon water bottles and I can buy the 55 gallon drums to store my water and change it out every six months. I ain't got no problem. And then I got a, pay attention, 500 gallon water storage tank. Do you see what I'm saying? Oh, and we have the designs for creating these, doing it a DIY. And so for the people in the area, we're going to start a small little venture where we make money. No, we're not gonna make money. They're gonna just, the people in the area just gonna pay us for the cost to put that junk together. We're going to create our own design and probably do a video showing everybody else how to do it. You feels me? So that you can do it yourself. Do it myself. That's what I like to do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 18 minutes of talking about air to water systems. I got to go.